All right, so we're going to be doing a voltage drop test on a headlight circuit. Now, the point of a voltage drop test is to basically see where voltage is being consumed within your circuit, uh, whether that be your load or your power supply or your ground. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head into the truck and ensure that we have working headlights. Now, if one is brighter than the other, then this is a definite thing that we're going to be doing to find out why. So first thing we want to do is find our source voltage and in this case that would be the batteries. And here we're going to be reading about 12.3 volts. Alright so this is just a basic uh, circuit drawing that I've drawn up to kind of show you to give you a better idea of where we're testing this circuit. Now that we have our source voltage known, we can go ahead and open up the hood of the truck and we can access the back of the light bulb itself. Now here we have three wires and that's because we have our low beam and our high beam power supply with a shared ground. In order to test our low beam circuit, we need to figure out which wire is which at the back of this bulb. So I've taken my multimeter. I've hooked up my negative prong to a ground on the body of the truck and I'm going to go ahead and switch my voltmeter onto volts and in order to get a reading to figure out which wire is the power supply for our low beams the lights have to be on. So I'm going to take the T-pins like you just saw and I'm going to probe at the back of each wire until I get voltage. I've already probed at the back of all three of these wires and this yellow wire here is the only one that's showing that I have voltage. So what that's telling me is that that is my power supply wire for my low beams. So we're going to go ahead and attach this alligator clip so we can show you. And right here we're getting 11.9 volts. Now we're just using this as a method to differentiate which wire is our power supply for our low beams. So what we have to do now is we have to figure out which one of those wires is our ground wire out of the other two. In this case, the blue wire and the white wire. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our multimeter and we're going to keep our grounded side connected to that same ground that we used to test for power supply. And we're going to take our multimeter and switch it over to ohms. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those T-pins and we're going to insert them to the back of the other two wires in, at the connection. And what we're going to be looking for is the path of least resistance. Because what we're looking for is the ground, which should, in theory, have the least amount of resistance. The high beam side is going to have to travel through that filament of the bulb, which is in itself a resistor. So what we've seen is the first one that we tested was the blue wire and it gave us a reading of about 1.6 1.5 so now that we've stuck our t-pin into the white wire we're gonna go ahead and look at our reading and what it's gonna show us is a resistance that's a that's slightly lower so we're gonna say one, one ohm. So that is going to be our ground and that's what we're going to go with for the rest of this test. So now that we've located our power supply and our ground for the low beam circuit, what we need to do is we need to take our multimeter, we need to set to volts, and we need to hook up our ground lead to the ground and our positive lead to our power supply. And that's going to show us exactly how much voltage is being consumed at the bulb. So if we look at our multimeter, we're looking at about 11.7 volts. And that's how much voltage is being consumed at the bulb. We have the same drawing as before, except for it's showing where we just tested. Um, and that's before the bulb and after the bulb. The next step is to test exactly how much voltage is being consumed from the battery to the bulb. 
So we're going to connect a uh, test lead to positive side of the battery and we're going to run it through our voltmeter and go to our supply voltage to the bulb. And what we're showing here is that we have about 0.265 volts that are being consumed from the battery to the bulb. Once again, here's the same picture and this is showing the two points that we just tested. So now that we've done the front side of the circuit leading up to the bulb, we have to do the back side of the circuit leading back to the battery. So we're going to connect to battery ground and we're going to run our test lead through a multimeter again and go to the ground side of uh, the bulb. So right here we're showing 0.25 and here's the same drawing showing the two points. Now using Kirchhoff's law that states all voltage must be consumed before reaching source. If you look here, if you add up the negative side of the circuit, the positive side of the circuit, and the load being consumed at the bulb, it should roughly match the source voltage. All right, so that's your voltage drop in a nutshell. We kind of did it on a simple circuit. So you can use this same method to do a voltage drop on any component, any other bulb. So if you're having problems with a component that's not getting enough voltage, you can do this to kind of narrow down your search or even a bulb that's, that's dimmer than the other. Use this to narrow down your search, find out where your voltage is being consumed. Then you can repair the issue and get your customer back to work. Thanks.